Hey guys, RC here, back with some Starters Order 7. This is episode 2 of our reboot, uh, after our issues with the game. Uh, so, we are back for tomorrow, today, and let's get out to the track, and then we'll have the yearling auction coming up so soon. Son of, wow, surprised the uh, racing board allowed that name. And I know it says Flicka. I know. All right, so we came up short. <clears throat> Several maidens, but we did, you know, we started off fourth in back-to-back runner-ups. We're sitting on a 91 rating. <clears throat> but we haven't shown, we haven't shown that oomph right at the end of a race to be able to go for the wire. So... Jersey Pearl, it looked like, is the uh, co-favorite with us. Jersey Pearl. We're on the outside. Foreign King is out there with us. All right, we get out to the front. Looks like he held her up just a little bit, or him. I guess it's a Colt. I don't know if we're burning ourselves out too fast. Two and a half furlongs. Jersey Pearl's gotten past us. We've got Diddly D coming up on the inside. Two furlong pole. Can we hold pace and show anything? Dom Alco is running with us. And we're just fading at the quarter pole. At the one four furlong. We've got nothing. There's nothing there. third place finish I mean we're running in money do we keep racing in these maidens we didn't win any money in this one led early faded eased when beaten all right so kind of lacks the killer instinct it, it it saw it was trailing And just no heart to go run. Um, one is Maiden. It's won two of three selling races. I don't know, that might be one worth maybe looking at. Let's bid on it and see what it goes for. It's got 14000 in earnings. We'll see how high it goes. I don't want to spend a lot on it, but... 205 I'd rather invest that money in a two-year-old that I can sell, or a yearling that I can sell for two or three million dollars. <laughs> That's just my personal feeling. All right, so all of our breeders are in full. And we're, I don't know, man. I just don't know what to do with this horse. And I think it's this speed rating. Because it has, it has the speed, extra speed, but it doesn't have that initial speed. And I think that's what's killing us. Now, finish application, consistency. See, the horse's ability to apply itself in a hard finish. Now, that's not related to battling qualities. Is battling something on here? Fitness, potential, condition, speed, stam. Acceleration is pretty decent. And the start... So I don't know where the battling is, but that's I think that's what we're missing here. I think that's what we're missing. Uh, what's the head lad think? Well, I understand it's a little jaded. I understand that. All right, well, I'm going to go ahead and hit the yearling sales, guys. And we will come back when that's over. I'm going to advance a little bit, and we're going to let about a month go by, and then we'll schedule another race.
All right, so we picked up uh, six, I think it was six yearlings at that, and we went with some of the more expensive ones. So we are racing today in another maiden. Are we the favorite? We are, no, we're not. We're not the favorite. Oh, God. All right, we are picked second best. Five to two. Oh, and I keep forgetting to go. I think what you have to do is you have to go to the high for your staff. For your staff, that's the only thing I can think, because I've clicked the right button to. Oh, and this is a bad track. We're right in the middle of the pack. Get out to a solid start. It's the three, four bays that get out to the early lead. We're out looking good, holding second. Looks like we have two out of the same stable. All right, two and a half furlongs to go. We're in second position. Two or three, about three lengths back. You've got uh, Casota making a run in third, but not moving too closely. Looked like we were starting to make a push there at the furlong and a half pole, but... I don't think we're just not showing the speed here. Can we nick them? No. You saw it. there was a little push, and that was it. It was like just, you know, no no distance, no length of spurt at all. Ah, that's just brutal. Front rank early, prominent halfway, stayed on well. Finished a quarter length back. Ridden as a stalker. Enjoyed the ground. But it can't win. I, I don't get it. I mean, this was a horse that in, in a regular year, we probably never would have run. Do we need anything else in here while we've got the money? Tell you what, I'm going to buy two trailers, a single and a double. I think that's all we need. Just double checking, we're good there. All right, uh, let's see. All right, well, I am going to come back April 30th. I'm going to let a month go by. We're not even going to schedule him. So we'll come back for the, uh, I'll do the yearling sale. We'll come back. We'll book him in a race at that point. Let a little time pass. I heard Chris Ormy say that if they're losing, give them a little time off. You know, don't keep throwing them out there. So, I mean, we're, we're making, we're making a little money. I mean, we made $11,000. I mean, it's nothing to, you know, sneeze at, I suppose, but. Ah, just disappointing that we can't find that first win. Can't find that first win. All right, guys. Well, we'll see you back here in a second. All right, so we're back for another maiden. We went down to Houston for this one. Boy, boy, boy. We did buy uh, several horses at that last auction, which will probably be our last Unless I look at some cheap ones. I've been buying the ones in the 240000 range. Because those are the ones that are going to bring back bigger money. So hopefully we'll be able to make some serious profit this year. Alright, we are favored. But the tipsters are not picking us. Royal Liaison. And I still haven't done that. God, remind me to do that right after this race. All right, well, let's get to it. Let's win a race here, horse. Please. Middle of the pack. Looks like we got a late break. But it pulls out well. Hits stride. Gets over towards the rail. Riding in a decent position. Can he make a hole there? I don't know. 
I just he has not shown any pace to be able to make a run. One furlong. All right, well, there's a charge. But you see how short his charge is. It's not that he's not making a charge. He just has very little length. Held on for third position. We might be in the money. It's based on how many horses run in the field. I think we've got enough horses, yeah. Oh, that's just no extra. I think we turn this one out uh, for sale at the end of the year. Too short. But he didn't have anything to go longer. Too short. Well, his stam is still six to five to six furlongs, right? This one was a five. So I guess I guess we'll look at a six moving forward. You know what? We did well in this race last save. And it's a chance to make some money. I mean, it's a bigger entry fee, but you know what? Let's go for it. And then that'll be... That's on May 31st. And then we'll come back June... You know what? Let's run him in a grade three, class one, grade three. It's the only, you know, if we're going to, you know, we need to see if he can step it out. He's not doing it in the maidens. So we'll, we'll give him a run here and see if he can actually do anything. I was going to look, I'm going to look at one more yearling sale. I may wait until August, maybe better to do it in June while I've got money try to get one or two of the lower horses like in the hundred thousand reserve range I'm probably only going to be able to buy one maybe we're just because if we don't spend it it's going to disappear you know all right let's get out to the track we are we are the favorite so that's good that is good. Looking for us. There we are. Four to five. In the and thanks for reminding me, guys. You know what? I'm gonna put a bet here. I'm gonna put a bet to win a hundred thousand dollars. And then we're not going to buy another horse unless we win. Come on. All right, we are middle of the pack. Even break for everybody. We get out to an early lead, setting the pace. We're able to get over near the rail, so that's solid. That's going to shave down on our run time. And we, we rode as a front runner in the last race or two, so that's positive. I'm actually going to watch this one on slow on regular speed the whole way. I want to see if where where if any he gives us a burst. All right, Kerensky's coming up on the outside at the three furlong pole. He's a length back. Two and a half, he starts making a charge. There looks like we try to come back and we get back out in front. We are pulling away very well. And nobody else is making a run. Could this be where we where we break it? Or we break our maiden here in a hundred thousand purse race? That would be nice. Going away. Going away. He didn't raise his hand, which is good, because as many races as we've won, I would have been a little chapped. 
<laughs> What's seven lengths, maybe? Eight and three quarter lengths. Jumps us up to a 95. We ran at a canter. They all ran green. Okay. So that's a good race to maybe enter your American two year olds in. Kind of liking that. Distance was ideal, never in doubt. Skip the auction. All right, let's go take a look here. So we are a gray, a group winner, group three. That's that's interesting. That's interesting. I'm, you know, I don't know. So that puts us up to a 95 reserve, reserve rating, 95 rating. Our first win. Very good. And that was a six furlong race. Stamina has not gone up. Did we get a, man, not yet. No potential boost yet. And 72,000 in winnings. That's good. All right, let's get to the next race. And let's head out. We're favorites again. This is a class one grade three, so another grade three race. And we are the early favorites. I forgot to say how much we won on the uh, bet because we had a $100,000 bet and the purse. So eh, we didn't win. I don't you know. I guess we did okay. All right. Four to 11, 11 to four, 13 to two, three to one, six to one. Pretty heavily favored here. Not really. Desert Ease. Damn, and I forgot to do the guy again. Shit. <laughs> All right, we're not going to bet here. Looks like we're up over 100 rating, 103. We are riding towards the inside here, third from the rail. Got out to a clean break. Early lead. City Stable towards the outside. And Yesaman. They're coming into the rail at the five furlong pole. We're holding pace, and the rail gives us the slight advantage. Coming in is Keki Buku on the rail, the number two horse. And we've got a runner number five, Atrap, on the outside. Coming up on the two furlong, it's the eight horse, Desert Ease, that's making the big push. That's what I want to see out of our horse if it has the stamina to hold that. And the number three horse, King Edmund on the outside making a slight run. We're fading. I think we're going to finish out of the money here. Does he have any anything in him? He drifts towards the middle. May have held on to third, but I'm wondering if that cut to the middle cost us a, a stride or two. And we do nip him at the wire for by a nose. Wow. Yeah, by a short head. Stayed on. All right, so he showed hard at least to stay in there. And looks like we won $4,273. So that's nice. Got the distance well ridden as a stalker. So hmm, maybe. Maybe we have found... Oh, shit. What happened? Uh, Tink, this mic broke the sound bar. Jesus, Tink. Uh, good thing it didn't work anyway. Well, just the end tap fell off. Uh, all right, let's see. All right, so in the money again, 76000 in earnings. A 103 rating. So I'm 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 gonna be interested to see from last episode in this one. Is this a horse that we continue to run at three years old? 
do we put him to stud or do we sell him? We've gotten him a pretty good rating. Okay, bye. I don't think there's anything else we can do with him at this point. I mean, we could keep trying to nickel and dime, but we're really not going to make any more money. He's not going to be a triple crown threat. Right? And at this point, we've raced him eight times. I think we... I think we put him out to the farm for the rest of the season. I don't know. Let's check. Let's, let's look. See, is there another big race that we can put him in? That's two grade threes. And that's the, well, hold on. Anything to his stam, and that's going to be a no. So the six furlongs is definitely where we want to be. Class one, grade three. Mm -hmm. Titchy, titchy, bang, bang. That's nice. Do we want to go there? Do we want to go here? That's a lot of, a lot of in the money horses, huh? I mean, we've got the rating on them, but they've got a lot less races on us here. And I don't think we step up to a grade two. Although, now, Titchy Titchy Bang Bang here. Isn't he running back here too? Yeah, he's running in this one. Um... You know what? Grade three. Let's enter him here. And let's enter him in a grade in a grade two. And then that may be the season. That may be the season. And we should be able to get these in. I don't think I'm gonna go after any more sales. Don't think we're gonna go after any more sales. I've got 24 yearlings. What, 14, 11 of those are one, so all the rest we bought. So this is the year we should break into having a good chunk of money and then hopefully finding a couple of decent horses to run next year. Let's, let's get this done. Let's get this done. I am going to save it right there. All right. Uh uh oh, is he injured? Uh oh, a viral infection. All right, how do I? That's today, and we're gonna we're gonna scratch the horse. That's that's okay. Oh, that's if I want to enter it. So we're going to scratch from that race. I, I didn't have a choice. I mean, he was not he was not well. So let's get to the next race, which will be July 27th. Let's check his status. All right, so that's good. So a runny nose, he was tired. So we got him out of that. All right, so that S must mean that he has symptoms of something that you need to figure out. Okay, we are not the favorite in this one. We're second. That's, I mean, you know, I would take the money, I would suppose. I'm not going to put any bets on it. I wish they showed the purse or something right here, but that's okay. All right, we're starting near the outside. Titchy Titchy Bang Bang is one I'd like to keep an eye on because that's that's the one that you know was running. That's the white, the gray mare uh, right next to us, or the gray colt, one of the two. All right, we're the number six horse right here. 
So we're with the with the stalking pack. We're on the outside, so we've set ourselves up for a good run. But boy, there was a fade as the pack started to pull away. And we have, uh, I think we've been exposed here, ladies and gentlemen. The two furlong pull, and we are nowhere to be seen. Now, if we would have entered the first race and had this kind of result, we would have pulled out of this race. Yeah, we are trailing... Oh, we're way back there. I'm going to keep scrolled out just so we feel like we're in the race. Because we're way back here. Well, that's six, seven lengths behind the horse in front of us. That's not good. That is not good at all. Yeah, six and three quarter lengths back. Outpaced at the finish. We had no shot at that one beaten before halfway and this was the distance this was the distance so ah, and he falls below a hundred I think He still hasn't gone up any in, in stamina. So we're still looking at... See, he's he's bred... His breeding indicator is a mile and a furlong. But he's got to get to that point. All right, so the class one, grade two. I wish we could have run, run that grade three. I wish we could have run that. That's a grade two, not interested. All right, well, I tell you what, we're going to end it here. I am going to move ahead and see if I can find another grade three race for him at some point in time and see if we can get him into that race. But, yeah, I think these grade twos, I think we are completely outclassed. And I'm going to be looking for one of these grade threes to get into. So... Hit the like button for me. Let me know what you think about Van Doesburg. And uh, probably next episode will end up our calendar year here. And we will come back next season uh, in the following episode and have some, uh, some new horses to peruse. Guys, thanks so much. We will see you next time. Bye.